about earlier in the week is we don't have, uh, you know, we're, there's no six, seven corners, you know, there's no six, seven safeties. And so we're all undersized going against guys like that. Uh, we just had different techniques that we used to, to knock the ball down. We made a, our fair share of plays. They made their share of fair plays. We made more than they did. How important was it for, for your guys to be patient when they were making their plays and then being patient enough to stick to your game plan so that you can make the eventual plays at the yeah, end? Yeah, no, I mean, that's, you're playing an excellent football team. Um, you know, we didn't think we were going to go at the end of this game and they were going to be 0 for 20 passing and no touchdowns. We knew this is a, a really good football team. And so uh, we're just happy that we made more, more plays than they did. Turtles game tonight, a little different, Greg gets the happenstance one, and Barnes plans. Yeah. What, what did you see? Yeah. yeah, well, it's the first time anybody's pushed the ball down the field all year on us. And, um, you know, I know that's been the big deal is we're not getting interceptions. Well, it's hard to get interceptions when nobody throws the ball down the field. We knew we were going to get some uh, uh, some balls thrown down the field this uh, this week. Uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday of our practice, we had about 20 interceptions against our scouts. So it was no surprise that we came out there and got three interceptions. Was there anything different from the guys that you tried to buy that led to that this week? Was it, was it something with the cow game or just kind of what was it that you did? No, it's the style of play that we just saw. They're throwing the ball down the field. And so everybody else runs the ball for two yards and then they play very conservative. This is the first offense that's opened up against us. And so when you get an offense that's going to open up against us, now that's going to allow us to go make plays, and that's what we did. When you're defending a two-minute offense like that and they, they make a substitution, yeah. Yeah. Do, do you want to take as much time as you can to yeah. get guys on the field? Which we did. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That was all very intentional. There's no doubt. And you get fresh guys out there to get a great rush. And so... Uh, you know, it's, it serves the, the two, the two deals. Uh, get fresh guys out to the rush, but also to bleed the clock. How much time are you allowed to, to do that? Um, that's a great question. I mean, the ref stands over the ball. He's As soon as they sub, they're going to give us time to sub. I don't know if there's a lot of time, but he's going to he, they actually wait until our guys get set. And so uh, they wait for our guys to jog, jog off, and then they back off the ball and then they, and they snap it. So it's really on the offense. They probably shouldn't substitute if they if they want to snap the ball quickly. What's the initial impression from Brandon McKinney uh, playing for Judge? Yeah, awesome. I, I mean, he, no surprise. Brandon McKinney, Elijah Molden, Keith Taylor could all start in, in any secondary in the country. Um, and right now, they they got pushed to be starters. Uh, well, Elijah Molden and uh, Keith Taylor in the beginning of the game. And then, uh, obviously, uh, Brandon McKinney had to finish the game. Uh, there's no drop-off. I have high confidence in all three of those guys.